Hey guys, it's Art and Soul, and for this video I thought I would try something a little bit different. Uh, I wanted to experiment with voiceovers, so you won't be seeing my face in this video. What I wanted to do today is try something a little out of my comfort zone. I've mentioned before I think that uh, I'm not a big watercolor person, I don't have a lot of experience with them, I don't use them very often at all, and I was in the mood to do something a little bit different. I get bored when I do the same types of artwork all the time, so over here I thought I would use some watercolors and I looked up some cool pictures and I found this really nice one of a lighthouse and for some reason, I don't know why, I've just always been captivated by lighthouses. I think that they're super cool and like mysterious looking. So I decided that for today I'm going to try to loosely paint a lighthouse, which basically what I mean by that is that I found a picture of one that I want to use and I'm basically going to just use it as the base of shapes and where everything is and I'm going to just run with it and make it my own and kind of make up the color schemes and things like that. Usually you're supposed to use a specific type of paper for watercolor paints that's a little bit thicker and can hold more water. I don't have that kind of paper since I don't use watercolors often so for this painting I'm just using my regular sketch pad which is meant for pencil sketches so it's not the best thing to use and it did get a little bit wet when I would add a lot of water to it. So don't be like me, get the proper paper. I specifically wanted it to look really gloomy because I feel like that setting fits really well with the lighthouse. Over here I went in with some special watercolor pencils to kind of get the nice green edges that I wanted to give my houses and the roofs on top. So I went in with the colored pencils to give it kind of a more defined look because it's very hard to do detail work with watercolor paints. One thing to note is that a lot of people actually do very um, transparent types of paintings with watercolors since that's what the medium kind of lends itself to since you're mixing everything and diluting the paint with water. Um, but since my background is not so much in watercolor paint, I tend to kind of layer it on like I would with regular paint. Um, not to the extent that I would normally, but you could still tell that um, I tend to put a lot of colors onto the canvas as opposed to just doing a little bit mixed with water. I really wanted to do a nice bright blue ocean, but I decided that that wouldn't fit with the nice gloomy feeling that we have going on here, so I kind of darkened it and went over it in darker uh, blues and grays to kind of tone it down and give it a more muted look. I also added pretty pure white uh, by the edges by the rocks so that it could look like sea foam. Here's the finished product. It only took me about an hour, which is pretty good. Usually I spend a lot of time on things, but I'm really happy with how it came out and it was really relaxing, honestly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.